Hello, Fable here. Let's talk about getting healthy. The whole reason I'm doing this journey. There are many factors to this. We need to get ourselves in the mindset for eating healthier and making healthier choices. Not easy, I know. We need to recognize, figure out what our emotional triggers are. We need to look out also for the people that are unintentionally and the ones that are intentionally sabotaging us. So it requires some work and us making better choices. I, like I said, gotta indulge sometimes, but overall, so physical activity definitely improves our health. Being more active helps you to sleep better. It helps you to move better. And studies show it improves your endurance and even sex, people. So when I had my back surgery, the doctor said to me, okay, first day, walk to the corner. Next day, walk halfway around the block. Next day, walk all the way around the block. Each day, just a little bit more. So think of this if you are doing no exercise at all. Try that. Try just adding a little at a time. I'm not saying just walk to the corner, but maybe walk around the corner once, then the next night twice, then three times, you know, then walk a little further. Anything to get you moving and building on what you're doing. So go to the gym, get on the treadmill. It's hot out right now, it's summer. I don't know about wherever anybody else is, but it is hot here. And when you're at the gym, watch the TV, put your headphones on, listen to music, listen to a book on tape, um, you know, just anything to get yourself moving and just a little at a time. Uh, if you do five minutes on the treadmill and then 10 minutes and then 15, I know it's a lot, just to walk, just to get in the car and go to the gym. But if you don't have the gym, walk around, find a mall, um, indoor place that you can walk. And like I said, just, just build on it each time. And reach out to friends. If you don't wanna do it by yourself, reach out to a bunch of friends. Set up the first week, you know, maybe three times in that week, three different friends. And then the next week add a fourth friend and the next week add a fifth friend. And maybe two, two people are gonna walk with you on Monday, only one on Tuesday, you know, just try, you know, this way, if they don't want to walk every night, you have options. So, and the key to getting healthier, and I'm not an expert by any means, just all these different things that I've tried over the years and different things people have taught me and things that have worked for me. And again, you have to do what works for you. And again, no expert here. Just chubby girl trying to lose weight. So, um, but the key to getting healthier is that's it. Find what works for you. What worked for maybe a family member or a friend, you might try it and go, no way, this is not for me. So there's many, many programs. There's Gnome, there's Weight Watchers, there's 21 Fit or something like that. Um, something Body Blast or something, I don't know. There's all different things. And if you have the internet, there's all kinds of free exercises on the internet. Even dancing ones. I did a country dancing one. Loved it. Beachbody, that's it. Beachbody, it would come to me. So, you also need to find something within your budget. And if, listen, it is not cheap to eat healthy. I know that. I'm lucky. My son works. 
at a food store and gets a discount. So he works at Whole Foods. So he gets a discount, so he does the food shopping. I still go to ShopRite, Pop and Shop, Aldi, Lidl, get some stuff um, because it's cheaper. Let's face it, I'm on a budget. Like I said, it's not easy to eat healthy. So find within your budget, not only something within your budget, it makes you happy and it'll keep you motivated. Maybe put, some people say, hey, I put this dress I want to fit into by next year, this wedding that I'm going to. Or put a picture when you were heavier. That's what I do. I'm like, oh, no, no. Makes you think twice when you go to the refrigerator, <laughs> to be honest. So you just need to find that thing and what's going to motivate you. I mean, something else might motivate you. I'd love to hear it. What motivated you or, or you think will motivate you? Um, you also need to find something that you can live with. And you'll be able to make it part of your lifestyle. That really is truly, don't go to the extreme. Something that you know over time you're never going to stick to. Because you'll lose the weight and most people gain it back then. So remember getting healthy and losing weight doesn't happen overnight. It really doesn't. It's a slow and steady process. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> so they say, um, before you begin on this journey, path, whatever you want to call it, ask yourself, what do you want? to achieve what you need to achieve. Maybe the doctor told you, you have to lower your cholesterol, lower your sugar. Um, you have to lose weight for whatever reason, heart, lungs, whatever. What do you want to achieve? And also what do you need to achieve? If you want to not only be healthy, but you wanna lose weight, Again, figure out a plan that's going to work for you, work with your lifestyle, work with your budget. And also, you got a family, work with your family, that's going to work with your family. So maybe consult your doctor or nutritionist. If it's covered under your insurance, talk to your doctor. Get a full set of blood work. When I got mine, I'm borderline, 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 everything. So I want to keep it under that border. So... That, you know, if a nutritionist, they can gear you, like give you some ideas. If you want to lose weight, figure out how much you want to lose. How much is going to make you feel better? How much is going to make you healthier? How much you're comfortable with? Some people I've seen go to the extreme and they get way too thin, way too thin. And they never eat. Listen, I enjoy food. I like eating. So do that and write out a plan, set personal goals and not go, you know, you can set goals for a year from now. If you want to fit in that dress for a wedding, you're going to your nephews, nieces, I don't know, even a friends or, or, or a class reunion, that's fine. But also set small goals, goals that are obtainable. Like, I'll walk three times a week. Uh, I'm going to lose five pounds in a month. Five pounds in a month is not a lot. But, again, slow and steady. So if you're losing a pound, pound and a half a week, and you're going to have setbacks. So five pounds in a month, that sounds doable to me. But again, you got to do what you're comfortable with, what you want to. So don't make it an impossible goal that you're setting for yourself. Because if you are, you're setting yourself up for failure. If you go, I wanna lose 20 pounds in a month. Hey, if you do, that's fine. But set it something that you know you can do. And maybe 20 pounds in a month is too much. Maybe you're a person that loses weight easily. Well, if you're a guy out there, you probably will. Because men, they seem to lose it easier than us women. So easy to put on, so hard to take off. 
So set those goals. Don't make them impossible because most likely you're going to get discouraged and give up. I don't, I don't want anybody to give up on anything. So try making a menu for the week. Um, try new foods and recipes. You might surprise yourself. Like there's things like tofu. I didn't think I'd like it. It has to be a certain way. It has to be marinated. It has to be cooked the right way. Um, I've had it crumbled in things. Even a friend of mine, I had her try a dish and she couldn't believe there was tofu in there. So not saying you have to try tofu, but try, try healthier things and make a menu. Like I said, when you're going to a party or on vacation, prepare yourself mentally for this. You're not going to be very good. You might, but, and maybe bring something to that party that you know is going to be good for you that you'll eat. I've bought turkey burgers to a barbecue. I mean, it was family it was, or a close friend. And I was like, listen, I didn't know if you'd have it, but you said hamburgers, hot dogs. I prefer this turkey burger. And I, I always volunteer to bring fruit. So this way I know that there's fruit. Fruit isn't cheap, but splurge a little when you go into a party so you know you have something good. And prepare yourself. Just prepare yourself like, hey, I know I'm going to indulge. I'm going to want that cake. I'm going to want dessert when I'm on vacation. Just try to do it smaller. Maybe share with one or two people. And at that party, have a small, very small piece of cake. This way you're not depriving yourself. And have a big bowl of that fruit that you brought. Maybe you're not a fruit person. I don't know. Then find something else. Maybe sugar-free jello sugar-free pudding, I don't know. But make gradual lifestyle changes and don't go cold turkey. Don't say no sweets, no junk, nothing that's bad for me. Again, you're setting yourself up to fail because you're gonna grieve it, you're gonna want it. What I do is I love my pizza. I could eat three, four pieces of pizza, but I only have one now and I have a big salad with it. So this way, satisfied my craving for that pizza and I have a big salad with it. So if you make changes slowly, I think it helps you to be more successful in trying to be healthier and losing weight. And be prepared as they say, as not being prepared is preparing to fail. So it is important to try and do some form of exercise every day, if you possibly can. Some people have physical limitations. You may ask, what is the best type of exercise for me? Figure that out, figure that out. I mean, in the beginning, you might be able to only walk around the block or then tr try to find a Zumba class or some kind of aerobics class, eh? water aerobics. That's supposed to be great for you. Um, the best one is the one that you can physically handle. What works for you and you enjoy. I love walking. I love walking, especially by the water. I could walk for hours, hours. Um, in this heat, not so much, but that is the one that is for you. There's many options. There's even... If you can't stand too long, you have bad knees, there's now ones that they're out there with sitting in a chair. There's ones laying on the bed, like, you know, and they call it overweight yoga or something like that. You might not be overweight, but you might not be able to. You might have bad knees and laying on the bed exercising, hey, you know, and uh, I don't know. I've heard that, you know, an hour of sex is like running a, running a couple of miles. I don't know. You can look it up. I don't know how accurate that is, but so it's sad. So exercise also, it controls your appetite. It, it boosts your mood. It, you know, gets your endorphins going. It makes you feel better and it improves your sleep. 
I do find the days or the nights that I walk, I sleep so much better. I wake up well rested. I feel better. So in the long term, exercise helps you overall health. It reduces people, you know, they say with risk of heart disease, strokes, diabetes, and so, so many other things. So just, you know, just find something you can do that you enjoy and just get moving. Like I said, a little at a time, baby steps, one step in front of the other. So just find something you can do. Proper nutrition also helps your energy level. Sugar, you know, boom, you have that sugar, you crash. Then you feel like doing nothing and you feel lousy and you're dragging. So I'm not saying totally deprive yourself, but try to find alternatives. Sometimes there's, you know, I mean, I've tried all different things. I've tried vegan recipes and because they have a lot of protein in them and I don't know, some are good, some aren't. Explore. I mean, Google for recipes, pull out the old fashioned cookbook, whatever it takes. I take and I, um, you know, just and also, you're creating healthy habits. If you're a young person and you have young children, you're also creating healthy habits for them. Maybe do a family hike, um, walk at night. If you have a dog, hey, let's all walk the dog. Everybody gets out, everybody gets exercise, especially after a healthy meal, you feel like it. You have, you know, really heavy carb meal. You're, you're not gonna feel like doing it. So, find just that thing that works for you and or your family. I find, like I said earlier, meal prep. You know, like I said, go online, find recipes. I mean, we're lucky we're in technology age. Technology isn't always good, but for this, it is. And start collecting healthy recipes, things that might appeal to you. Uh, I went to the dollar store, I bought a binder, and I bought plastic sleeve, and I printed the recipes and I put them in the binder. And the plastic leaves for, sleeves for me, they're a must because I'm a messy cook. <laughs> so, and it protects the paper. It's easy to wipe clean, you spill anything on it as you're cooking. So, from the menu, you know, make a menu from those recipes, things you want to try. From the menu, make a shopping list. Go shopping, stick to the list. Go when you're not hungry. Go when you're nice and full. And then pick a day or night and prep. And when you're meal prepping, cook the foods that take the longest to cook. If you like, cook your meat or your fish or even your vegetables the day you're making the recipe, that's fine. But cut it up if it needs to be cut up, especially vegetables. Chop everything up, get everything ready, put them in bags. So this way, and it's easier when you come home and it's not like, oh, I don't want to cook that. And then it sits in the refrigerator. And make extra if you can, so that you have leftovers for maybe lunch for the next day or an extra meal. You know, kids and significant other aren't going to be around or just your kids aren't going to be around. So you have something and it's healthy and you're not just eating whatever. So, and maybe even you can, you know, Pop the extras in the freezer. Um, you can even make enough for two nights of each recipe if you want and freeze the other one for the following week. Make it easier on yourself. And I like to label them and date the meals that I freeze because 
tend to go, mm, what is this and when did I cook it? Um, so this way you know. And stock up on healthy options for your fridge, like fruits, vegetables, low fat, cheeses, salsa, plain yogurt. I like to puree my fruit and put it in my plain yogurt. Um, hummus is another thing I love. It's an alternative to mayo, which I like to mix in with my tuna instead of mayo. I can't take credit for that. That was on The Biggest Loser. Not that, you know, those people lose weight way too fast and half of them gain it back. Try to stock up also your freezer with, you know, vegetables and healthy options like a go-to. If you're like, you know what, I have a headache, I, I know I cut up the meat, that's going to be for tomorrow night. But you can pull something out or that other meal that you made. So try to slowly, even if the first week you're like, you know what, I'll make two, three meals ahead of time. Because maybe you like to go out to eat. Um, maybe you're on your own and you like to go out to eat. Also make healthier options. Be very specific to a waitress or waiter. Like you're paying for this food. So be very specific to them. Really. I mean, I am very specific where I'm pain in the butt and I'm wondering are they spitting in my food right there because I'm just like, tomatoes bother my stomach. So I'm like, no tomatoes. Um, I only want um, feta cheese, some, you know, goat milk cheeses, um, because they're easier for me to digest. Cheese overall isn't healthy, but in moderation. That's another thing. Things in moderation. So that's the one thing Weight Watchers taught me. Portion control. So, I mean, yeah, they say only one cup of vegetables or one, and, and, one leader one time says, are you going to get fat eating vegetables? Unless you're smothering it with all fatty stuff. Grill up a bunch of vegetables and put them in small containers. And this way, you know, oh, I'm going to stop and get a rotisserie chicken. Oh, defrost those veggies. Um, like I said, I like to get the big Caesar salad at Costco and a rotisserie chicken and that's what we had the other night for dinner and it's nice especially on you know a hot summer night i make a lot of things ahead of time in the winter more than the summer you know we are eating out a lot but just remember slow and steady wins the race not what fits into someone else's lifestyle is going to fit into yours or your budget so do what you're going to enjoy that you feel you can sustain over time. Build on it slowly. I mean, hey, listen, if you're not doing any exercise and you start doing exercise, you're going to lose weight just by that alone. If you, you know, start out three nights a week for the first month to eat a healthy meal, then add a fourth night, then add a fifth night. You're gradually doing it, even if you want to do it one night, and then add to two nights and three. It's a gradual process, and if you gradually do this, this is what you're going, it, it's going to become a habit. It's going to become part of your lifestyle. So today I went on a little more than I did because I'm very passionate about this because I know how to eat healthy. I know all the tools to do this. And now that I'm going to be going off and living by myself, I, I need to really do this. So I hope you found this helpful. Please like, like, like my videos. I've gotten a couple of views, but I really want people to like them. So I know that people enjoy them. If you don't enjoy them, don't like them. Hey, and any comment you have, negative or positive. I want to hear it. I mean, I don't care what you have to say. You might even have tips. You might even, mm, hey, and if there's a subject you want to talk about, like I said, I'm an open book. Talk about anything. People say I talk about too much, but hey, I'm going to end this now. I hope this helped. 
I hope I get some feedback. Fable, signing off.